All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Kurash, the ones to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, so it takes you all that I can preserve with true charity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word Indian calls Gah and Jehovah, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the Son's name, with the word Indian calls Jesus, uh, Jesus and Rakak Kurash is the Holy Spirit. As a uh, Hey, as always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigners scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of the nations they have been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm Brady Adair from the Great Millstone Branch out in Chicago, and I'm back with another lesson. It's going to be entitled, a, uh, a We're Prophets First and Foremost, you know? And hey, man, hey, hey, just to get into it, hey, we've been... Uh, We've been chosen, you know, to, to do a mission, you know, to complete a mission. You know, the Lord have entrusted us with this gospel, this great glorious uh, doctrine, you know, and they, we have a job to do, you know. So before we're parents, before we're uh, students, before we're friends or boyfriend and girlfriends, a, a chiefly, we are the prophets. We are the men of the Lord and we have a, a, a duty to take care of, you know. So hey, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into these scriptures. This uh, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 13, it says, These all died in faith, not having received the promise, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. And they are our, our, our patriarchs, you know, they had respect unto the recompense of, of the reward of waiting on the Lord and waiting on his uh, glorious kingdom to come. So guess what? They cast it off what they wanted to do, the cares of this life, you know, what, what, what they may have wanted to do or... You know what, what their own will was, so to say, to a to a follow the Lord, you know, and it is written here for us to look back into and understand, you know. So, hey, this is the same thing we have. We must do verse 14. This is the same mindset that we must have. This is a uh, verse 14 for they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And here we have no continual city, but hey, we seek one to come, you know. It says, verse 15, and if truly if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country that is in heavenly where the most high is not ashamed to be called their power for I prepare for them a city. And we're looking for that heavenly kingdom to be established here on earth. So hey, hey, by any means necessary, you know, hey, we, we, we want to get to it, you know, but hey, that's our mission. That's our main thing. You see, this is 2 Timothy 2 and verse 1. It says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men. So we must be strong in this truth. And hey, this, this, uh, the understanding, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, the true doctrine from the heavens, which we have, uh, which the Lord have blessed us with. Hey, we got a, a commit unto faithful men, which is going to teach others as well, right? It says, verse 3, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So, hey, we're commanded to endure hardness. Yeah, it's going to come times where you get low. You know, you're going to have to do things you don't want to do. You're going to be irritated. You're going to be agitated. You're going to feel like, you know, you don't want to do anymore. But, hey, you have to get through that. Hey, the scriptures make that analogy as to being a soldier. You know, a soldier is, is someone that's fighting a war. And right now we're fighting a spiritual war. Uh, it, it talks about the principalities of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. Hey, hey, we're literally going up against strongholds, things that is choking our people out, man. Christianity, Catholicism, you know, a hey, foolishness of this world, you know. So we're in a spiritual war and we must hey, hey, be those spiritual soldiers for Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. By any means necessary, it says, verse 3, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Verse 4, no man that wharf entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. And that's the point, man. No matter what you go through, a, a, the chief the chief thing is, is to feed the body, feed, feed the Lord's people, feed the sheep. No matter what we feel, how we feel, what we want to do, ultimately, a, when we wake up, a, how can I forward the ministry? How can I please the Lord? How can I live for the Lord? How can I do what's required of me uh, for the Lord? And then I, you know, then I go to <laughs> go take my ass to my punk ass job, you know. Then I can go out and, you know, do something that I may enjoy doing, you know. But a hey, chiefly, hey, it's, this, it's this ministry first. It says, verse 4, No man that wharf entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. We've been called. So hey, now we must uh, make our, our call and election sure. You know, we must put on as the elect. You know, the Lord have called us into this battle, you know. Ain't no more turning around. We, we ain't declining. Nah, we, we in it. So hey, now we must go ahead and do it. You know, hey, make your body a living sacrifice T to hell with what you wanted to do or what we want to do. You know, the Lord called us uh, for a greater purpose, man. You know, 
Uh, we we can wait on what we want to do. The Lord is hey, the Lord said He's He's not unrighteous to forget your labor of love, which He do. Uh, slack. Let me grab really quick. This Hebrews chapter six and verse ten. It says, "For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward His name, that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister." So hey. Hey, everything that you sacrifice or that you do as far as the Lord, the Lord ain't going to just forget that. Nah, you, you're going to get reward, blessed more than you deserve, you know. So hey, just make the little sacrifice now and hey, 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 do this for the Lord and do it for your people, you know. This is, uh, yeah, this is uh, John chapter 21 and 15. It says, so when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. So if you love the Lord, the Lord, hey, as he told the apostle Peter, he said, Look, feed my sheep, feed my people, man. The sheep is the nation of Israel, man. Chiefly the elect. You know, so hey, we must study, you know, a hey, better our own knowledge and this truth. It will better our own, uh, will basically uh fulfill our portion within this ministry, you know. It says, uh, so we can so we can minister to the Lord's people. Verse 16, he said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto thee, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall I say unto him, Feed my sheep. <laughs> so, hey. This the Lord, hey, he repeated it thrice, three times. He told him, like, look, if you love me, feed my sheep. That's how important, you know, it is for us to do this, man. Hey, hey, this is the rebuilding of our nation, man. This is the bettering of our people. This is, you know, the works that we're doing now is ultimately going to lead to our nation <laughs> being being glorified again, you know. So, yeah, man, we're going to put that work in right now. This is uh, Sirach chapter 24 and 34. Behold, that I have not labored for myself only, but for all them that seek wisdom. And hey, coming into the knowledge of this truth, you're not only just learning this for yourself, but for all those men that may be under you, that look up to you, that that that, that subscribe to your YouTube, that ask you questions, that 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 look for you for guidance. A hey, hey, we're ultimately doing this, you know, for a hey, for every for the whole body, man. You know, this is this is our purpose, man. Hey, in a world we had no purpose, you know, we just and hey, living according to the vanities, you know, of our minds, you know, and doing stuff that didn't profit us. But hey, this is the most profitable thing for us to do, man. And we have a purpose now. So hey, we must fully put that work in, you know. This is uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the most high, to them who are called according to his purpose. So hey, ultimately just trust in the Lord. Everything that happened, hey, hey, if you believe and trust in the most high, is to your betterment. Even if at the moment it don't feel good. Verse 29, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. So those that the Lord have chosen from the foundation of the earth, he already chose them to in the latter days to form a uh, kind with uh, form, basically uh, to, to become like, to come in the image of his son, you know, meaning separate from this world, you know, a, a, a follow that straight and narrow path, man, it's already been written. Right. It says more over whom he also it's like it says for whom he did foreknow. He also did predestinate to be conformed with with form or image, you know, to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. So we already chosen to a, a ultimately have our purpose in this life, which was to serve the Lord, follow the lamb whithersoever he went. You know, verse 30, more over whom he did predestinate them. He also called. So we've been called and whom he called them. He also justified and whom he justified them. He also glorified that we must endure to the end, you know, so that we may be uh, delivered, you know, and be a part of that elect number. Verse 31. What shall we then say to these things at the most high before us? Who can be against us? And chiefly, look, just serve the Lord. Make the Lord number one. <laughs> and they, everything else is going to fall in place, you know. So, hey, hey, we're prophets first and foremost, you know, before we husbands, you know, to our wives, before we fathers, to our, our, our children, you know, before we boyfriends, to our girlfriends, before we're workers for the self-proclaimed white man. Hey, hey, look, the, the Edomite of the Bible, look, we are prophets first and foremost in anything to get to the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, a hey, call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kodash, the ones to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, citation to all the I can push the word with true, with charity, Shalom, Barakatham, and Ababa Ball.